So here we got one of each of the items. Uh, I'll start with the, the crystals here. Unfortunately, the Sims crystals. Unfortunately, these could be a lost cause. Uh, this is kind of the worst looking one I pulled out of there. You can see it's kind of corroded. The chrome is uh, flaked off. You can see a little corrosion around there. And there doesn't seem to be a real good way to get these battery caps off. So that's going to be an issue in terms of repairing them. I think they're still kind of cool as is, but yeah, not quite what I was hoping. But I have a, I have a couple ideas about what I might, might be able to try in terms of uh, just heating it up or some kind of solvent that might be able to pop the cap off of there. So I got uh, 60 of them to try with. So set that aside for the moment. <coughs> Here we have a uh, SNES replacement cables. I'm not sure that these aren't just these. Doesn't it look like it looks pretty the same. The plug definitely looks the same, but the cable looks a little different to be honest. I got a uh, ten of these because they were a pretty good price, and I have definitely come across SNES um, controllers and whatnot. Especially if you buy some, uh, buy them on eBay or Craigslist, kind of cheap. Uh, they got chewed up cables or whatever. Maybe they don't. Maybe their advertising is not working or whatever. Um, so, anyways, I got some of those because they were a great deal, and I'd uh, never seen them uh, at least at a decent price before. So, I'm hoping these are reliable. And then I got these controller extension cables, which these are a bit vintage, I guess, from '97 at least. So, uh, I bought a couple of these, probably just to resell. To be honest, I do some Craigslist stuff and. Uh, it's a it's kind of a handy thing to have. I think uh, someone might prefer these just over a completely no name brand because this is a kind of known from that a known third party brand from that era. Not necessarily known to be the best quality, but known nonetheless. And I got uh, four of these power jack replacements. I've used one of these before um, uh, on the American Super Nintendo, especially. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think the uh, the PAL version uses the Super Famicom type plug, uh, but there's a, pla a plastic insert, a plastic barrel in the middle that's kind of taking all the load instead of just a, a, um, a metal pin as are on the NES and pretty much every other console from that era. Was, uh, and I've seen more than a, four, a few of them that are broken there. So um, I have uh, actually cannibalized the Super Famicom and put it in a, in a Super Nintendo console. Uh, to do you know to replace the power jack and then I just gave them a, a, a third party power supply as well so but this is a better solution so you don't have to cannibalize another system so got four of those and set those aside and then these are GameCube controller replacement contacts uh, again there's those are getting uh, old enough to be worn out now even under normal use and uh, if people are using it for Smash or whatever, then they forget about it. They're definitely got some worn out buttons out there. So I got a 10 pack of those. Uh, this is the first time I've seen N64 replacement contacts. So I bought just one of those. These were definitely more expensive than anything else. Uh, so I don't know if they're kind of new and there's not, yeah, the demand isn't high enough to produce more of them yet or something like that. These are the first ones I've come across, and uh, so I'm going to have that in my arsenal. Don't necessarily need one set at the moment, but same thing, N64 controllers are just as burned as anything else wearing out, so there you have it. And of course, NES contacts kit. They all, these all look like pretty nice quality kits, by the way. I would, uh, uh, and, and everything was a good deal, to be honest, I, I, and I would uh, I'd give the uh, seller a shout out, actually, but I don't, uh, uh, if you didn't he kind of packaged my uh, order like an asshole, so I really don't feel like giving him any uh, credit either. I kind of feel like I got the middle finger finger there. I didn't, you know, paid uh, paid full price for shipping or whatever, and it was very poorly packed. So uh, this is an individual pad here. I got two of these. Again, this is floating around in the box. No packaging, by the way. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, it's got some dust on it. I put. I already used the other one of them in a uh, controller. That these are just the A, Y, X, and B uh, button contacts. I didn't want to 
I, I knew I needed the one controller to repair, so I figured that he had two of these for sale just individually, I guess, from a broken pack as well. Here's the, the one I replaced. You can see it was the Y button. All the other ones actually feel great still, but uh, the Y button is that was obviously being used very heavily for some, some game. So, we got that. Got one more. Uh, I come across controller that just has one side damage. And then I got uh, 10 of these Super Nintendo full kits, replacement kits, because I was out of those. Still haven't been able to find the three button Sega Genesis kits. Those are elusive for some reason. Uh, hoping that those are going to be back in stock. I have one left. Uh, one brand new kit and I have a couple of kind of gently used uh, you know better than like completely smashed ones so I'm but I'm hoping that the three button kits will be something that we can get our hands back on again so Bring back them fucking three button kits they come this is the big man the voice the voice of the people <laughs>